Welcome viewers to today's ministry film. Praise the Lord. Bless everyone here online today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you for the joy of the Lord that fills our hearts. Oh, bless you. Merry Christmas to everyone here on the platform. Uh, 2024 is going to bring blessings. It's going to bring a lot of prosperity to you all. There will be uh, healing. There will be divine connection. There will be promotion. The joy of the Lord will fill our hearts all in Jesus' name. Uh, you're welcome. And the Lord will usher you to 2024 with multiple of blessings. Uh, when praise the Lord when the angel came to visit Mary hallelujah when the angel came to visit Mary thank you Jesus it's all praise and worship praise the Lord when the angel came to visit Mary and, and told Mary you are highly favored above all the women and you're going to have a child Mary was a little bit skeptical. I said, well, I am just engaged. I've not even finished, you know, my marriage. So why will I be pregnant? But the joy of the Lord filled her heart. The Lord intervened and the Holy Spirit came over her. And the Lord actually manifested his uh, power upon the daughter of Zion. Just like the way it was declared in Isaiah chapter 53 and the book of Matthew chapter 2. And the wise men said, we were going to look for this baby. When eventually they found this child, Herod said, he's going to kill all the nature because we want to get at Jesus. Nothing good that the enemy will ever give to you in exchange for Christ. So you, you accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and say, you accept him. Because he's the God of yesterday, today, and forever. He will promote you. He will uh, give you life. You seek for life. The Lord will give you life. And you remain with that life in Jesus' name. So we thank you because of his, uh, the favor of God upon our life. We thank you because of what he's been doing in us. So there's one thing we plead for. We plead that the Lord, the message of God, will always go with us ever and ever, wherever. It is that we are going to step to so the way you want to usher yourself to 2024. Um, the declaration here is that the Lamb of God will come to the deliverance of his children. And that was a revelation that was given to us uh, months ago. So ready to uh, anything that has the Lamb of God in it. Go search the scripture yourself and read it because the favor of God will descend mightily upon those ones who read anything regarding Jesus Christ, regarding the Lamb of God that was sacrificed upon the cross of Calvary. Brethren, uh, I want to use this opportunity to tell uh, everyone um, uh, we are very grateful, we, we are very honored uh, for the favor of God upon our life and our family and also yours. And we keep on interceding for each one of you out there that the glory of God, the mercy of God should be with you all. I wish you all the best in 2024. Well, uh, we can't complain. Uh, we can't say much, but we want to say that uh, we glorify God because of what he's done for us in 2023 all through. May the favor of God you know, baptize you. May the anointing of God break you. May the Lord promote you. May the Lord connect you to divine connection. May, give, may he give you much abundance of life. Uh, any form of obstacle he'll remove and roll it away from you in Jesus' name. The windows of heaven will open for you for favor, for mercy in Jesus' name. So uh, let us thank him because of what he's been doing. I will say that um, the rod of the wicked will never lay upon the lot of the righteous. And that's one. And uh, there's going to be more open doors. There's going to be uh, more anointing. There's going to be more uh, spiritual insight, wisdom. Before you take any decision 2024, ask the Lord. The Lord said you have to ask him. <laughs> Trust me. God is real. The Holy Spirit is real. Ask him before you take any decision. Decision in business, decision in work, decision in school, decision in marriage, decision in um, you know, cultivation, farm, agriculture, and everything. Be very careful. Ask the Lord first, okay? In Jeremiah chapter uh, uh, 1, verse 11 and 19, say, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I say, I see the rod of Almo of tree, which is the Almo of tree of favor. 
Do you know what Alma represents? Have you ever traveled to Israel? Have you ever seen where they compress the women, you know, uh, try to uh, bring uh, olive oil out of the almond tree before or the seed? Brethren, it is a good sight to watch. So uh, we believe that God this day will baptize you with his favor. And uh, I plead Psalm 91 and I plead uh, Psalm 23 for you, Psalm 27. The grace of God is with you. The Bible says we have overcome the world with the word of our testimony. Uh, with the Lamb of God, uh, nothing we shall not be afraid of anything because the favor of God is ever with us. Brother and I, I love you all and I send my greetings. My, the favor of God should baptize you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas again, a prosperous new year and Thanksgiving. And let the windows of heaven be open for us for favor, for mercy, for grace in Jesus' name. Love you all. Pastor Esa, thank you so much for what you have done for us. May the Lord be with you all. I love you with, from the heart of my heart. May the glory of God descend on you mightily. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. And bye for now, Pastor Esther. Thank you.